It's not the kind of hobby one might expect a person to pick up behind bars. I was actually incarcerated and uh, it was part of like our art therapy where we, uh, one of the staff brought in some looms. And when 41-year-old Nelson Mendonca started a 90-day treatment program at Phoenix Transitional Housing in Surrey, he didn't stop. Loom knitting became a way for him to deal with his anxiety and loneliness. I had a lot of anxiety and uh, it's like the first thing that came to my head and I just wanted to go get some yarn and, some, and a loom. Uh, I started making a toque and everybody was wondering what I was doing because it kind of looks weird at first. His hobby became an icebreaker. He got others involved, resulting in a men's knitting club. They use knitting looms to create colorful toques, and the designs are becoming more elaborate. Everybody was doing it, so I, <laughs> it's just, I had to pick it up and give it a try. The men are incorporating pom-poms and even take special requests for basketball and football-themed hats. You can see the joy in people's faces when they make them for somebody. It is also when somebody receives them. They've stitched hundreds of toques for people in need. Mendonca's addictions counselor says the unique hobby is proving to be another way to help the men at the facility in their journey to recovery. So when someone finds their way, they kind of leave footprints for the next guy to follow. So the toking is definitely original. Sean Broussard is part of the knitting club and is a resident at the facility. It's almost like meditation. It kind of takes you away from it, definitely takes you away from uh, um, worrying about a ton of stuff or, or thinking about negative things, um, especially when you're doing something as fun as this. For Mendonca, his favorite part is giving away his creations to those who need them. You know what, I'm not, I haven't been the best person in the past of, of starting things and finishing things. Um, and it's, uh, it's really nice to just start something and finish it. The group of men at Phoenix have made more than 200 toques to donate to homeless people and a woman's recovery house. And they've even knitted tiny ones to give to newborns in hospital. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.